Mabuhay, and welcome to the preliminary competition night of Miss Universe Philippines 2020. I am your host, Benjamin Alves, and we are here at the Cordillera Convention Hall of the Baguio Country Club, the first and only five-star mountain resort here in our country. And now, Universe, it is time to meet some of the most phenomenal Filipinas wearing their exquisite, modern, and traditional national costumes. of Davao del Norte. Ngayong adlaw sa tanan, kini si Marielle Joyce Pasqua, gikan sa dakpayan sa General Santos. Mabuhay! Ako po si Maria Regina Malana mula sa probinsya ng Isabela. Mayong adlaw sa tanan, ako gali si Rabia Oxenia Mateo nagarepresentar sa syudad sa paghigugma Iloilo City. Good day everyone! I'm Kim Crisaldo representing Iloilo Province. Naimbag na daw ka na kayo amin. Siya, ni Adama Crisal Benigta, mangirepresentar iti probinsya, iti Ilocos Sur.
Vivian Algao Candicayo Losan, Norin Victoria Mangawit, Kalinga. Naimbag na Aldao, kada kayo amin apo, Trisha Bartolomeo Capo, La Union. Mabuhay, Joanne De La Torre Flores, Laguna. Mabuhay, Ivana Camille sa Pisensya Passes, Makati City. Maayong Adlao, Kanatong Tanan, Lou Dominique Pixon, Mandawe! Alexandra Abdon, Manila. Mabuhay! Maria Leonina Makalino, Marinduque. Maayong adlaw sa inyong tanan. Caroline Joy Veronilia, Misamis Oriental. Mabuhay! Merry Chris Valdez Castro, Montinlupa. Mahal na na, Adi Hitomi Ariate Akiyama, Oriental Mindoro. Mabuhay! Jennifer Linda Palawan. Kaya kayo nga, yako po ay Patricia Pineda Santos para King Pampanga. Mabuhay! Ako si Maria Nina Copuyok Soriano, Pangasinan. Good day! I am Isabella Rojas Ismael from Baranaque City. Magandang araw sa inyong lahat! Sana ni Cole Santa Maria, Pasay City! Mabuhay! Rihanna Agas of Pangindian, Pasig City! Mabuhay! I'm Michelle Teresa Imperial Gumabaw representing Quezon City. Magandang buhay! Pay Dominic Papier de Vesa, Quezon Province. Magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Ako si Erica Evangelista. Nire-representa ang probinsya ng Rizal. Mayong adlaw sa inyong naptanan. Ako si Maria Fred Naharan. Nagre-representa sa ako pinalangga ng probinsya. Probinsya Ed Romblon. Maradyaw karadyaw sa Iju Tanan. Ako si Cariza Kiza, Surigao del Norte. Mabuhay! Sandra Raimundo Lemonon, Tagig City. Ang adlaw ko na itong tanan ay ang Perlin Yamota Kayona, Tumbuanga del Sur. This year's pageant is proud of its many pioneering efforts. This is the first time that Miss Universe Philippines, led by its national director, Shamsim Supsup Lee, is spearheading the search for the phenomenal woman who will represent our country in the Miss Universe pageant. It also marks the first time in the history of the Miss Universe Filipino franchise that contestants have been allowed to communicate in their local Philippine dialects or languages other than Filipino. The search for Miss Universe Philippines 2020 started in December of last year. And out of over a thousand aspirants, the official delegates were presented to the media in a red carpet event on February 14 at the Manila Hotel. Today, the task of selecting the top 15 finalists are in the hands of our judges, who are all prominent and respected in their own fields. 
Universe, here are your Board of Judges. Miss Universe 2014 Top 10 Host, Actress, and Endorser, Mary Jean Lastimosa. Owner and founder of the Versosa Aesthetic Clinic, regarded as one of the best in skin and aesthetic medicine in the country, Doctora Katrina Salonga Versosa. Miss Universe 2010 Fort Runner Up, a strong advocate for the youth and ambassadress of Elevate Movement Inc., Venus Ra. Miss Universe 2013 Third Runner Up, TV host and actress Ariela Arida. The general manager of JCA Productions and the president of the Philippine Fashion Coalition, representing all sectors of the fashion industry, Jackie C. Aquino. The trailblazing co-founder and CEO of the number one and biggest marketing company in Asia, Front Row, and the man behind Front Row Cares Foundation, Sam Versosa. Police officer turned model, actor, and the first Filipino to win the title of Mr. International in 2014, Neil Perez. Interesting fact about me is I love to eat. Mahilig ako mag food trip. Ang favorite kong food ay siguro yung dinuguan ng mami ko. I like singing and dancing. I think that's a very Filipino trait that I am very proud of. And I love mostly dancing bachata and salsa because it's a great way to get to know a lot of people while doing a lot of exercise. I'm very passionate about animals to the point that one time I performed emergency CPR on a drowned dog. And that dog lived. And I'm very proud of that. Basically, not the standard of pretty in our society until 2010 when Venus Ra won fourth runner up in the Miss Universe. She inspired me, she gave me hope, and she made me dream. And hopefully, my 10th crown would be the Miss Universe Philippines crown. I am currently studying tourism, and I think that it is very suitable for a modern Ivatan woman like myself because the tourism industry in our province is at its peak. And it is something that I want to get myself involved in and make an impact in a positive way for my fellow Ivatans and for Batanas. Dati akong varsity player, and may nakakita ng potential ko as a beauty queen. And here I am, one of the candidates of Miss Universe Philippines 2020. Before, I tried to discriminate myself because of my physical appearance, and that's not good. Now that I'm confident because I see myself as a beautiful person now, and I don't agree what on other people say. So I am a Boholana Belgian, and being part Belgian has exposed me to a lot of chocolates and a lot of Belgian waffles and that has developed a sweet tooth in me. And good thing that I'm also part Boholana because in Bohol, we also have chocolates in the form of chocolate hills. A phenomenal woman for me is someone who exemplifies strength tested by time. She is confident and capable of everything. And she is whoever she wants to be. And that is exactly who I am. I represented the Philippines in the World Championships of Performing Arts in Hollywood, California. I'm very passionate about music. Apart from that, I'm also passionate about traveling. I'm a former overseas Filipino worker as an international flight attendant. I participated in various dance competitions. That's why I'm an experienced dancer. I was also part of theater plays and musicals. my life goal and purpose in life so at a young age I started doing local mission trips here in the Philippines. I actually worked for a local airline as a flight attendant. Ironically I am actually an acrophobic. I have fear of heights but I think it's just one way of um, showing everyone that you have to face your fears to achieve your dreams. 
I am an only child. My mom was a single mom. And although she already passed away when I was just 17, I know that she's very, very proud of me and she's the best mom in the whole world. She was also a beauty queen during her time and I'd like to be just like her. Something interesting about me is I love to play volleyball. It is everything. It is my stress reliever, my go-to fun, and it is definitely the best way to keep you fit and at the same time making you friends. Isa ko ka very madiskarte na babae. Um, growing up, I started playing soccer at the age of six, and then I used that skill to get a free scholarship in college. Uh, I love reading books, any kind of books that really uh, pique my interests. And I love writing and also painting. I really love earth science. I used to study geology before shifting to mass communication. And now, currently working as a flight attendant where I can travel to different places. I work as a staff nurse and I am assigned at the pediatric ward. One thing I just want to um, being assigned at the pediatric ward is that I get to be with the kids and knowing that I can be with them and take care of them and take them to the greatest fulfillment of being in it. You know what? I really love crime documentary. It really fascinates me every time the investigators get to know who is the real killer. I believe that this is a combination of art and science. My real name is Kim Chi because I was born in Korea. Um, it was from the Korean side dish, which is kimchi. And then I'm currently a flight attendant for Philippine Airlines. People usually ask me how I got involved in pageantry since I'm a dentist. When my family and I moved to Saudi Arabia, that's where I got exposed into pageantry because I was enticed into the growth and transformation of the candidates get after the pageant. I actually like traveling to the barrios and experiencing how austere life can be because it is in doing so that we find different perspectives in understanding how life works. For the subscribers of Empire.ph, you may have been streaming Ring Light since last month, the biggest online fundraising pageant series in the country. You may have also placed your bets on some of our candidates based on their introduction to the press, casual interviews, and through their glamorous photos and videos posted on www.empire.ph, your home for passion, action, glam, and entertainment. It is now time to meet the first half of our candidates as they talk about their passions and advocacies. Starting with our delegate from Aklan. Miss Aklan, Christelle Abello. Christelle spent 20 years in California and Okinawa and has competed as an athlete in Hong Kong, South Korea, and Guam, making her a well rounded person who appreciates all kinds of cultures. Miss Albay, Paula Ortega. Paula is a nurse and a lab technician who loves babies, dogs, and dancing. Not necessarily in that order, she says. Miss Angeles City, Christine Nicole Silvernale. Cole is a medical lab science student who once saved the life of a street dog by a CPR. She also plays the piano and ukulele, and she believes in the power of positive affirmations. Miss Antique, Giselle Marie Roventa. Giselle is a nurse by profession and a beach lover by nature who loves shooting guns in her free time. 
quite an interesting hobby. Miss Baguio City, Bea Teresa Mainigo. Bea has joined 10 pageants and plays in nine of them. One of her favorite words in her local dialect is baktit, which means crazy. She also believes that one must love yourself before you can love others. Miss Batanes, Jan Alexis Elcano. Alex won when she was barely one year old as the best looking baby in their province. When airports closed down due to the pandemic, she had to endure two nights of travel in a cargo vessel just to make it to Manila in time for this pageant. Miss Batangas, Natalia Orsia. Natalia is a past swimming champion who later turned into the Zoophilus, someone who is emotionally attached to animals. She is also a beach lover who considers marine conservation as one of her advocacies. Miss Biliran, Skelly Ivy, Florida. An only child brought up by a single mom, she experienced bullying at an early age. No wonder she is a passionate advocate of embracing uniqueness through inclusive education of learners with special needs. Miss Bohol, Pauline Amelings. A proud Boholana, Belgian, Pauline has created a children's coloring book to raise kids' awareness on marine life preservation. She admits to being a sweet tooth, which goes perfectly with her sweetest smile. Miss Bulacan, Dianella Luis Loya. Dianella is an advocate for Philippine culture and arts, especially folk dances. She also believes that despite the challenges posed by this pandemic, we must get back on our feet and dance to the beat of our lives. Miss Cagayan Province, Marie Danica Reynes. Danica grew up in a remote municipality with no electricity, which made her learn not to take anything for granted. In 2013, she represented the Philippines in the vocal category of the 2013 World Championships of Performing Arts in Hollywood, USA. Miss Camarina Sur, Crisia Lynn Moreno. She is a USD magna cum laude graduate with a degree in travel management. Her favorite Picolano word is magayon, which means beautiful, 
to which I say, Magayon ka, Miss Camarina Sur. Cantanduanes, Sigrid Grace Flores, a consistent honor student who later turned into a missionary and motivational speaker. She considers yellow as the color of phenomenal women because it symbolizes joy and hope, two things that we need most. Miss Cavite, Kimberly Hackinson, a multifaceted woman who believes that the youth must focus on self-awareness and appreciate your power. During her interview, Billy bravely declared that she is bisexual. Let's give a hand for Billy, who is out and proud and proudly representing Cavite. Miss Cebu City, Tracy Maureen Perez. An industrial engineer and a model, Tracy loves science fiction films and the flip-top culture. She encourages everyone to be grateful and to celebrate the diversity of Filipinos. Miss Cebu Province, April Smith, a strong advocate for sports through anti-bullying and anti-discrimination. She hopes to inspire the youth to accept oneself, to know your worth, and to break stereotypes of candidates in pageants. Miss Davao City, Eliza Flor Molinao. She grew up in a farm, became a varsity scholar, and graduated with a BS psychology degree before she entered modeling and represented our country in Asia's Next Top Model. She is now an entrepreneur committed to educate farmers on sustainable agribusiness. Miss Davao del Norte, We Am Ahmed. We Am advocates promoting her province and their banana fabric. Her favorite native word is padayon, which means continue. No matter how many times you fall, you must keep going to pursue your dreams. Miss General Santos City, Marielle Joyce Pasqua. MJ is a MassCom graduate who lost her flight attendant job during this pandemic and now works as a marketing consultant. She is an active advocate of the movement Next Is Me to inspire the youth to focus on self-respect. Miss Eloco Sur, Adelma Crisel Benicta. A nurse by profession, Adelma won the local pageant after her third try. 
Raised by strict parents, she finally found her first boyfriend at the age of 24. She believes that purity is vital to becoming a phenomenal woman. Miss Iloilo City, Rabia Mateo, an Ilonga Indian biracial beauty, she grew up in a poor and broken family. Through her mom, she learned the values of forgiveness and hope. She loves their local phrase, Basta Ilonga Guava, because she truly is beautiful inside and out. Miss Iloilo Province, Kim Chi Crisaldo. Born in South Korea, Kim holds an Ateneo master's degree in business administration and currently works as a PAL flight attendant. She learned early on how to celebrate diversity and to appreciate life in general. Miss Isabella, Maria Regina Malana. Regina spent her high school years in Saudi Arabia before becoming a dentist. A fan of adventure travel, she loves hiking, paragliding, and hopes to try skydiving. Miss Kalinga, Noreen Victoria Mangawin. Noreen is proud to be the first ever Kalingan candidate of Miss Universe Philippines. As a civil servant, she supports efforts for better representation of the Kalinga indigenous group. Miss La Union, Trisha Ocampo. Trisha owns a family clinic and a wellness center and is a strong advocate for breast cancer awareness. She plays volleyball, bowling, and table tennis, but she also considers eating as a sport that she excels in. Miss Laguna, Joanne Flores. A UP Diliman Magna Cum Laude graduate, Joanne is currently a hotel director and mentor. She has conquered her fear of heights by venturing into cliff diving, mountain climbing, and bungee jumping. Miss Makati City, Ivana Camille Passes. Ivana is a professional events host, model, and writer. Having gone through anxiety attacks and challenges in her life, she has become an advocate for better mental health education and awareness in our country. Miss Mandawi City, Lou Dominique Pixon. A former Taekwondo senior red belter, Lou is a model and account executive who defines herself as Palapan, a fighter in every life challenge.
Miss Manila, Alexandra Abdon. Alex is a nature lover who loves to dress down and take long road trips. She hopes the youth will focus on becoming the best versions of themselves and to stay away from negativity and fake news on social media. Miss Marin Duque, Maria Leonina Macalino. Nina hails from what is considered as the heart of the Philippines, and she has been inspiring others to use their hearts and spread love and kindness, rather than pursue power and fame. Miss Mesames Oriental, Caroline Joy Veronilia, an Ateneo de Cagayan Magna Cum Laude graduate who specializes in development journalism. She loves Japanese comics and animation films. She loves the Visayan word Puhon, which means hopefully, someday, in God's time. Miss Montelupa City, Maricres Castro. Born in Seattle, USA, Marmar speaks five languages, including Spanish, French, and Kiika Onde, an African language. She believes that you must take pride in your heritage and skin color and be proud of who you are. Miss Oriental Mindoro, Adi Hitomi Akiyama. Adi is half Japanese but considers herself 100% Filipino in heart and soul. She now has a Doctor of Medicine degree and works at the Medical Center of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. She hopes to promote the Mangyan handwoven fabrics and cultural heritage. Miss Palawan, Jennifer Linda. At 12, she already started her career as a model, and by the time she reached 18, she has already won 10 titles in local pageants. Jennifer is an island girl who advocates for the environment and the preservation of natural resources. Miss Pampanga, Patricia May Santos. Patricia is a consular and diplomatic affairs graduate, a creative writer, and an outreach organizer. She hopes to promote the Miamit Falls in Porat Pampanga, which, like her, looks fierce outside but is truly soft-hearted and peaceful inside. Miss Pangasinan, Maria Nina Soriano, an all-around athlete who won in fencing, swimming, and dancing competitions. Nina is an elementary education graduate who volunteers for evangelistic crusades and outreach ministries. Miss Paranaque, 
Maria Isabella Ismael. Isabella is a niece of former Miss Universe Margie Moran, a ballerina since the age of four and a De La Salle BS Psychology graduate. She practices meditation and believes in giving everyone a chance to live the life they envision for themselves. Miss Pasay City, Sandra Nicole Santa Maria. Sandra is a songwriter and plays a ukulele. She wears a size 12, and because of her height, she used to be delegated to male roles in high school theater. Being a flight attendant fulfills her dreams of traveling and becoming one with nature. Miss Pasig City, Rihanna Agita Pangindian, a licensed teacher and a professional model who has embarked on an online baking business during the pandemic. As a victim of bullying, she mentors the youth to encourage them to live a life with meaning and purpose. Miss Quezon City, Michelle Teresa Kumaba, an athlete, model, and motivational speaker. Michelle knows what it means to be a winner, having been victorious in volleyball tournaments and pageants before. In 2014, she started her own Michelle Kumaba Volleyball Camp to instill core values of sportsmanship to the youth. Miss Quezon Province, Faye Dominic Deveza, a USD graduate who currently works as a vendor in their local market store. Faye loves the word kalikasa because it represents Mother Nature and how vital it is for our future. Miss Rizal, Erika Evangelista, a former medical representative and a business manager, Erika has finally fulfilled her dream of becoming a fashion designer. It was Miss Universe Philippines' Gazzini Ganados who encouraged her to join this pageant, another dream fulfilled. Miss Romblon, Marie Fee Tahara, a former flight attendant, Marie Fee holds a diploma in acting from the International Academy of Film and Television. During the pandemic, she sold her own clothes and donated the proceeds to the less fortunate in her community. Miss Surigao del Norte, Carissa Rosel Kiza. At the age of 14, she started joining local pageants and has collected more than 10 titles along the way. She is a member of her school's theater arts organization and debate club society. Miss the Gig City, Sanja Lemona, a French Filipina beauty who was raised in Macau and attended a Chinese and Portuguese school. She was once placed first in a declamation contest and loves to express herself through drawing and painting.
Miss Zamboanga del Sur, Perlin Cayona, a licensed criminologist who hopes to join a law enforcement agency soon. Perlin is an active social media engager who in her native language embodies Matibang Anun, a kind and helpful person who is willing to take a risk for others. Truly amazing. Up next, the very crucial evening gown competition, which can make or break a candidate's chance to make it to the top 15. Universe, don't you miss it. I work in healthcare right now. No, I am not a doctor or a nurse by profession, but it is my passion to help people and to treat them with their illnesses. I am a career woman. Even at a young age, I am already holding an executive and director level position in the hotel that I am working for. I always loved writing poetry. I am an animal lover, so I grew up in a home with around 30 dogs and cats. I am a volunteer teacher for our local church and I enjoy it because I love being around kids. I am currently working as a marketing head and creative director for a franchising company and I also love milk tea so that's why tomorrow we will be a new branch. And I also work as a project manager and we mainly focus on promoting urban music. One thing that most people find surprising about me is I drive myself to and from my daily activities in my motorcycle. My dad owns it. Behind all the glitz and glamour is just your average Joe in her jeans, shirt, and helmet who just launched her very own campaign, Rise Up, which centers on mental health awareness. I am very fond of sports such as competitive swimming, volleyball, and horseback riding. I am also a singer and a performer, and I joined World Championships of Performing Arts last 2018, and I won as a multi-medalist. We had to take a course on animal science where we learned how to properly round up a cattle, handle a lasso, and use a bullwhip. I was supposed to participate in a rodeo, but I decided to join the Miss Rodeo, where I won the title. I speak in the African language fluently, Kika Onde, spoken by the Koonde tribe, working in some of the most rural conditions to inspire and introduce health initiatives. I am a child at heart, and I know that because I still love playing in the rain, and I love Disney movies, as in I am a Disney nerd. I can sing along to all Disney songs, both old and new. I've started modeling when I was 12 because I love to explore and do new things in life. I'm a nature lover. I love to connect with nature. I want to become an inspiration to the other people so that we can work together in sustaining, conserving, and protecting our environment. I chase the sun whenever I go, and since I'm a solo traveler, so I love chasing the sun. And you would look at the sunset and you would realize all is well in the universe after all. I am a pastor's kid. Being a pastor's kid, it's quite hard to join pageants because of the stereotype of what we wear and even the swimsuit part. But that did not stop me from chasing this dream. <laughs> When I discovered uh, the show RuPaul's Drag Race, I actually took a lot of inspiration in finding who I am and being proud of exactly who I am. You know, what I see in the drag queens is that they find their story from their experiences, they take it, and they just make it in the most creative way that they can. I love composing songs and I play the ukulele. Usually I play songs when I'm brokenhearted or when I'm pissed off from work and I just write my emotions through the songs. I can do basic carpentry at home. 
Growing up, we would move houses. My family and I would move houses. And as a form of bonding, my dad and I would just fix things around the house, like um, the shelves, even painting the walls, even masilia. Marunong mag masilia, guys. I am a motivational speaker. I feel very blessed when people actually invite me to talk and give speeches at various events. I feel like everything that I've been through in life, everything that God has put me through, I can use and uh, inspire a lot of people and really make a difference through that. During my free time, I go to church every Sunday and para hindi kompleto yung araw ko kapag hindi ako nakapag church. Mahalaga rin sa akin yung bonding ng family. Kasi kapag ka strong your relationship mo with your family, parang wala nang kulang. Lahat masaya at lahat ay nagmamahalan. I'm actually no stranger to failures. I started my business when I was 18, selling pastries at our local cafeteria. I had to close it down a few days later because it wasn't selling well. But I still persevered and today I'm a fashion designer and CEO of my own clothing line. I still keep my dad's phone number. He died when I was only 17 years old. Up till now, I still text him and call him as if he's still alive because he's my biggest inspiration and I really want to make him proud. I'm an education student and I value health. So most of the time, I spend it on working out and doing physical fitness activities and it makes me happy. I am very passionate about reading poetry and hopefully one day I can have my own treehouse by the beach and grow my own vegetables and have a sustainable and healthy lifestyle. I am a licensed criminologist. I love sports and I'm playing basketball. In fact, I am a center of my team. And so, after watching the VTR interviews of all of our delegates, Universe, have you narrowed down your choices? Well, this next segment should complete your list because they are all set to give only their awe-inspiring best in this year's preliminary evening gown competition. Akla, Christelle Abelio. Albay, Paula Madarieta Ortega. Angeles City, Christine Nicole Silvernale. Antique, Giselle Marie Roberta.
Baguio City, Bea Teresa Mainigo. Batanes, Jan Alexis Elcano. Batangas, Natalia Ursia. Biliran, Skelly Ivy, Florida. Bohol, Pauline Amelix. Bulacan, Dianella Luis Loya. Cagayan Province, Marie Danica Madrid Reynas.
Camarina Sur, Crisha Lynn Moreno. Antoines, Sigrid Grace Flores. Cavite, Kimberly Hackinson. Cebu City, Tracy Maureen Paris. Cebu Province, April Smith. Davao City, Eliza Flor Malilao. Davao del Norte, where I'm Ahmed.
General Santos City, Marielle Joyce Pasqua. Local store, Adelma Crisel Benicta. Ilo Ilo City, Rabia Mateo. Iloilo Province, Kimchi Crisaldo. Isabella, Maria Regina Malana. Kalinga, Noreen Victoria Mangawit. Trisha Ocampo.
Laguna, Joanne Flores. Makati City, Ivana Camille Passes. Mandawe City, Lou Dominic Pixon. Manila, Alexandra Abdon. Marin Duque, Maria Lianina Macalino. Misamis Oriental, Caroline Joy Veronilia. Montenlupa City, Maricres Castro. Oriental Mendoro, Adi Itomi Akiyama.
Palawan, Jennifer Linda. Pampanga, Patricia May Santos. Pangasinan, Maria Nina Soriano. Paranaque City, Maria Isabella Ismael. Pasay City, Zandra Nicole Santa Maria. Pasig City, Rihanna Agata Pangindian. Quezon City, Michelle Teresa Gumabao.
Quezon Province, Faye Dominique Deveza. Result, Erika Evangelista. Romblon, Marie P. Tahara. Surigao del Norte, Carissa Rosil Kiza. The Geek City, Sandra Lemonon. Zamboanga del Sur, Perlin Cayona. Ladies and gentlemen, you have witnessed how our candidates express themselves in their preliminary interviews. You have seen them in their national costumes, swimsuits, and evening gowns. Now it is time to hand out awards with their own special titles from our sponsors. That is coming up, so universe, stay with us. We are back here at the Caldergueta Convention Hall in the country's first and only five-star mountain resort, Baguio Country Club. As you have noticed, the presentation of our preliminary night has changed due to the impact of the community quarantines all over the Philippines. This is why we are especially thankful to Congressman Eric Yap of Benguet, the local government of Baguio, led by Mayor Benjamin Mangalong, 
to the hospitality of Baguio Country Club, headed by General Manager Anthony De Leon, and to Presidential Spokesperson Harry Roque. Maraming maraming salamat po for ensuring that all protocols are observed and all our candidates and staff are safe. Personally, I would like to thank Empire and GMA Artist Center, Chris Nick for my suit, Miss Keith Manila for styling me, Dr. CRB for taking care of my skin, Jing Mona Salon for my hair, and Center for Advanced Dentistry for our special dental partner. However, as you may have already noticed, due to the social distancing rules, we have not been able to gather together all our candidates on this stage, which I would have preferred all night long. But, no worries, universe. A few of them will join me in a few moments as I call out the winners of some very special awards as chosen by our generous sponsors. Our first award is for Miss MG Philippines. The MG award is given to the lady who crosses over and above what is expected of her and embraces an extraordinary lifestyle. The MG Philippines award goes to Miss... Miss Quezon City, Michelle Gumabao. Next, we have the candidate who has been conditioned to be greater. Beyond good looks and ultimately beautiful hair, she demonstrated overall beauty and inspires everyone to always strive for greatness. The award for Miss Cream Silk goes to Miss Bohol, Pauline Amelix. The next award is given to the candidate who exudes a personality that is refreshing and long-lasting. The Downey Sweetheart Award goes to Miss Bohol, Pauline Amelix. Finally, the candidate who possesses a complete skin health regimen and embodies Cetaphil's healthy skin for the body, even under the sun. Miss Cetaphil's son is none other than Miss Bohol, Pauline Amelix. And now, let us announce more special awards, this time for the candidates' winning features and their performances in competition as graded by our board of judges. In our opening segment, you saw our contenders wearing their national costume. And the candidate who garnered the highest score for this category is none other than Miss... Miss Mandawe, Lou Dominique Pixon. Next is the candidate with the most beautiful portrait shot, brought to us by Front Row's DD Stick. This year's Miss Photogenic is Miss Cebu City, Tracy Maureen Perez. Our next award is for the candidate with the most unforgettably beautiful face, brought to us by Front Row Lux White. The face of the Universe Award goes to Miss Bohol, Pauline Amelix. Our next award is for the candidate with the most gorgeous and stunning body. Brought to us by Front Row's Lux Slim, this year's award for Best in Swimsuit goes to Miss Iloilo City, Rabia Mateo. And the final award is for the most enthralling candidate in tonight's evening gown competition. A woman who is most confident in her own skin. Brought to us by Versosa Aesthetic Clinic, the winner of our Best in Evening Gown Award is Miss... Miss Paranaque, Maria Isabella Ismael.
For those of you who have been watching us on empire.ph, thank you for your subscription. Make sure you watch the finals and coronation program, which will be streamed on empire.ph on Sunday, October 25 at 10.30 a.m. and also in other countries around the universe. Please check the website for exact time of streaming and other details. We would like to thank our generous sponsors who made tonight's presentation possible. Our official presenter, Front Row, the choice of the universe. Co-presenters, Cream Silk, Conditioned to be Greater. Ole, Fearless, Face More. Lazada, Go Where Your Heart Beats. Downy, Freshness That Is Refreshing and Long Lasting Every Single Day. Our major sponsors, Hinebra, We Are One Hinebra Nation. Cetaphil, Complete Your Health Routine. MG, Be Extraordinary. Huawei, Make It Possible. Villarica, Abot Kamayang Pangarap. PLDT Rediscover What Matters. Grab Forward Together. Javianas Home in Javianas. Biaheng Busog Sa amin ang biyahe, sa iyo ang busog. St. Luke's Our Promise to You Patient Centered Care. Nick Studios Grow with Us, Glow with Us. Mark Salon Hashtag Get Marked. Game Glam Artist Management and Events Inc. Empire Studios. Petron, san ka man dalhin ng buhay, meron kang kasabay. Petron, kasabay sa lakbay. Bioche, we sell beauty. Manila Hotel, you are safe here at the Great Dane. Versosa Aesthetic Clinic, beauty verified. Baguio Country Club, the first and only five-star mountain resort in the Philippines. And there you have it. That completes the preliminary competition. Who will make it to the top 15 and then to the top 5? And who will be crowned Miss Universe Philippines 2020? We will all find out on Sunday, October 25, 9 a.m. to be aired on our Capuso GMA network and streaming worldwide on www.empire.ph. This has been your host, Benjamin Alves, saying stay safe and mabuhay ang phenomenal Filipino.